Hi and welcome to Movies Suck. Well, there has been a little bit of blowback for Arnold Schwarzenegger on his extraordinary comments of the last week. And honestly, I can't imagine why there is so little blowback. Because yes, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, he's pretty darn awesome. At least his films and stuff have been pretty darn awesome. And him as a man, quite amazing. Quite lecherous on a lot of occasions, but still quite amazing. I mean, that work ethic to become Mr. Universe and one of the greatest bodybuilders that ever lived, just utterly astonishing. But his recent comments were just insane. Also, sorry, just to mention, also a great movie star, a great action movie star. A real shame that he decided to go into politics because we lost a period of time where he could have made some more great movies when he was still looking good. A big shame, I don't know why he wanted to do that, but anyway, those comments he made were just unbelievable. He said, screw your freedom, and called people that were use their intelligence, find what they think is best for them, and he called them schmucks. People who don't necessarily agree with his point of view. I did actually make a video about this, but I got so worked up and I thought the video went completely off the rails, and so I never released it. But yeah, really annoyed about the fact that someone would come from Austria, he moves to America to take advantage of the American dream, the freedoms that America can give you, and then says something stupid about screw your freedom. I just cannot believe for the life of me that anyone in the situation he's come from would do that. He claims the he's just so passionate about America, but if you're that passionate, you would be s extremely passionate about freedom. You would never say screw your freedoms. You would think that it's great, it's so good that you have the freedom to do what you want to do, to choose what you want to be, to live how you want to live. That's just, that's the pinnacle of civilization. The idea that you would even consider American freedoms being a bad thing, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. Anyway, let's read a little bit of the story. Arnold Schwarzenegger's bodybuilding events lose major supplement sponsor Redcon 1 over actors' comments on mask mandates. Following the actor's recent comments about mask mandates, Aaron Singerman, fitness entrepreneur and founder of bodybuilding supplement Redcon 1, has announced that his company will no longer sponsor Arnold Schwarzenegger's bodybuilding events. The actor gave his controversial comments during a recent interview with retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman and CNN's Brianna Golodryga, declaring to those individuals unwilling to get the COVID-19 vaccine, screw your freedom before labelling said persons as schmucks. After much deliberation, we have decided at Redcon 1 to no longer sponsor the Arnold Classic or any of the Arnold events around the world, and also not to attend the Arnold events, said Singerman in a video posted to Redcon 1's official YouTube channel on August 16th. Over the years, I've overlooked a lot of stuff. You probably too, he continued. I've overlooked a lot of stuff with Arnold, where I said, well, that's just Arnold, right? And because we love him so much, we just keep overlooking and overlooking and overlooking. It's true, Arnold's done some somewhat dodgy things, one of them with a maid in his own wife's bed as far as I remember. Well unfortunately his most recent comments, so when somebody says screw your freedoms, I can't and Redcon 1 can't in good conscience continue to spend, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars sponsoring that person or show with a name honouring that person, Singman concluded. As to why he made this decision, Sigmund explained that it was not made out of partisan divides or because of political ideas, but because of his own belief that America is great because there's freedoms. Exactly. America is great because of the freedoms it gives you. Proper Western individualist freedoms. America's freedoms are a great thing, and they should be protected at all costs. People have protected them with their lives through various generations. And to just call those people fools, and, and just to tell those people, screw your freedom, he might be saying that to people that have fought in Afghanistan, Iraq, maybe some Vietnam vets. It's just, ah, it pisses me off. He's kind of, he's saying that to people that would have died for those freedoms. He probably doesn't feel that way, maybe he didn't think about what he was saying that carefully, but it just, ah, really annoys me. Singerman continues, Arnold is free to say the things he wants to say, right? He may say things I totally disagree with, somebody else may say things I find disgusting, that's what makes America great. You have the ability to say it, I have the ability to disagree. I'm voting with Redcon $1 that I don't want to be any part of that. Fantastic.
exactly what freedom is all about the ability to say things that other people don't like and they can disagree they can hate you for it they can vociferously disagree and tell you how much they hate what you've said and that's what you have in a free country the ability to just freely say what you feel and then to obviously suffer the consequences one way or another or benefits all depends on how people feel about it in the majority but it's all about freedom the Redcon 1 founder also explains that America is great because people should be able to choose whether they want to wear a mask or get the COVID-19 vaccine. Going on to question Arnold Schwarzenegger's decision to call people schmucks for disagreeing with him. Adding that America is great because in theory it allows for people to choose whether they want to wear a mask or get the COVID-19 vaccine. Singerman further asserted that he doesn't want anybody cancelling Arnold since he's not for cancelling anybody. Great, perfect. This cancelling thing is absolute bullshit, nonsense, and anyone who believes in cancelling is a complete and utter fuckwit. <sighs> because it's utterly, utterly insanely stupid to try and silence people because you disagree with them. Then I would rather hear what they say, what they think. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. It is always better to hear these things out in the open than to have them whispered in dark corners. And who knows what that sort of thing can breed. And yeah, the ability to choose. Masks, vaccines, what car you want to buy, what you're going to have for dinner. Everybody should have the right to choose. He also said, I'm not for cancelling anybody, said Singman. Don't cancel Arnold, but don't support him if you're me. If you like it, go there. I won't be there, unfortunately. So if you're looking to see Kai Green and the rest of the Redcon 1 athletes or myself, unfortunately, you won't. According to Singman, he's been attending the Arnold Classic event for the past 15 years, even sponsoring the bodybuilding competition for the last 10, because he looked up to Arnold and considered the actor to be a personal role model. In a related Instagram post, Singerman described Arnold as a guy who had nothing and no advantages, who never made an excuse and created a tremendous success, adding he became an icon based on his work ethic, his charisma and his grit. Absolutely true. The guy went from growing up in a small Austrian town, he had a dream, he went to America to fulfill that dream, and it's been nothing but success after success. The guy is a legend. In almost any circle you come from, you can look at what Arnold achieved, and you can look at him as a role model and just wish to achieve that same thing and follow his example. Okay, he's done some dodgy things in between time, but that's just him and his own personality. He is a great role model in certain ways, but this is such a shame. This is only a small blip on his legacy, but it's a negative thing to add to his career instead of just all the achievements. It really goes against the grain of what he stands for. He's like a living embodiment of the ability to achieve the American dream. Anyone who says screw your freedoms is un-American and Redcon 1 is a patriotic freedom brand, Singerman declared. We support freedom of choice. We don't want Arnold censored or cancelled. We just can't support his opinion with our dollars. As evidenced, the fitness entrepreneur takes his patriotism very seriously, meaning that his calling Schwarzenegger un-American is serious proof of how disappointed he is in his bodybuilding role model. Just recently, for instance, Following the controversial withdrawal of troops by the Joe Biden administration, and wow, was that a shit show. This is why sometimes you should just stick to the plan. Singerman shared a post on Instagram in which he thanked the veterans who served in Afghanistan for their service. Dear veterans who served in Afghanistan, Singerman wrote, you kept terrorism at bay for 20 years. You served with bravery and honor. You were there for those serving alongside you. What you did matters to us. Sincerely, the American people. Great statement. A lot of people think that it was a mistake going into Afghanistan, and I have to agree, it probably was a mistake, and we seem to have achieved nothing. Maybe a lot of people died that shouldn't have died. Maybe a lot of things happened that shouldn't have happened. But on the other hand, if you look at it from a different direction, perhaps that was a blip of hope for a lot of people. A blip that maybe things can be better. I don't know. Sometimes doing something that isn't successful is better than just doing nothing. As if any further proof of his patriotism was needed, in 2020, Singerman started the Redcon 1 Foundation, which focuses on providing financial support to the United States military families that have experienced hardship, and is seeking to extend their outreach to multiple families as they grow. We make sports supplements, protein powders, protein bars, pre-workout, and stuff like that, but from the very beginning we wanted to be purpose-driven said Singerman in an interview with Newsmax. Redcon 1 stands for the highest state of military preparedness, so we're a very patriotic, military-focused brand from the get-go. As for Schwarzenegger, following the controversy sparked by his comments, the actor admitted that even though he still stands by what he said, he may have gone a bit too far by calling people schmucks. I'll admit, calling people schmucks and saying screw your freedom was a little much, even if I stand by the sentiment, said the former governor of California in a recent editorial he wrote for The Atlantic. 
But there is nothing that I'm more passionate about than keeping America great, and it's the only subject that can make me lose my temper. Well, that's understandable. I mean, I, as I said earlier, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a living embodiment of the reality of the American dream. But what he said was still beyond the pale. It's just thoughtless and stupid. And even though he's passionate about keeping America great, he doesn't seem to be quite so passionate about having American freedoms. America is a great country. It's great because of its freedoms. You can't separate the two. Anyway, this has been Movies Suck getting really annoyed about anyone who is against freedom. I believe in freedom above almost all else. Freedom of choice, freedom of thought, freedom of association, freedom in all its forms is just vitally important, especially here in the West. Especially in this day and age where they want to take those things away from you. Signing out. Leave a like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.